For our high school graduation, my parents got my sister a car and a personal driver, while I got heels as a gift. I felt cheated so deeply. Her friends were around, celebrating with her while she cried in my parents' embrace. On the other hand, I stood a little distance away, watching them with the box of heels in my hands, my heart sinking deep into my chest. For the presentation of certificates, my parents cheered the most when my sister was given the award as the overall best in our class. I wasn't called out, as I wasn't among the top three. Can you see how good she is? It's such a shame that you're so dumb. Do you not even take a little out of your twin? You're not only ugly, but also dumb. There, that's my daughter. I wish you both weren't born as twins. Wow, Ava is so beautiful. That's my child. Congratulations, baby. I watched with a heavy heart as they loudly congratulated her. Having a non-identical twin has made me suffer throughout my childhood and teenagehood. My name is Mia and I have a twin whose name is Ava. Ava, she is everything called beauty. She had the perfect nosy, plump and naturally pink lips, long lashes, beautiful brows, huge, sparkly eyes and round face to complement her features. She was also born with naturally long and shiny black hair. Everyone who saw her adored her. Meanwhile, I wasn't so pretty. I was just the regular baby with just little hair and less beauty. As newborns, people loved to pick Ava up and shower her with compliments while they ignored me. As if that wasn't bad enough, my parents began to care about Ava more. When we clocked 10, they threw the biggest birthday party for us. I still remember that day like it was yesterday. All the kids crowded my twin while I was left alone. The visitors too were only taking pictures of Ava and telling her how beautiful she looked in her blue dress. Honestly, my parents took time in making her look pretty by getting her a beautiful dress, shoes, and a bag while I was dressed in an old dress. Anyway, the party passed and we continued our lives. My sister was not only beautiful, but also a genius. She did so well in school that no one ever topped her class except her. That made her even more adorable. Meanwhile, I was just an average student. No matter how hard I tried, I could never go past the sixth position. It was quite embarrassing whenever my sister was being celebrated, and all I could do was sit and wish we were both alike. I guess the whole love, adoration, and genius title got into her head, as my sister suddenly stopped associating herself with me after we got into high school. She refused to be called my sister and told everyone in school to not refer us as sisters either. I was sad. I wasn't close with anyone. Getting abandoned by my own twin too was heartbreaking. Even worse, for every time we had a gathering with our parents, mine were always talking about my sister and never me. They barely asked about how I was doing at school or asked to see my friends. But my sister was always made to bring her friends and my parents would always praise and give them some money. That act brought them even closer to my twin. So once during my first year in senior high school, I'd fallen seriously ill. I knew I needed to be taken to the hospital, but my parents refused. You have a school clinic, don't you? Go there. I doubt she can ever do that. She's probably not sick and only wants to stay home. Can't you just freaking be like your sister? I hated it whenever they compared me to her. I had my life and she had hers. I wanted to argue with them, but I was too weak to do so. I was honestly sick. I'm not lying. I really can't go to school today. Please take me to a hospital, I beg of you. My plea fell on deaf ears. They both refused and forced me to leave home. Ava was usually taken to school in the car while I used the public transport. According to my parents, the car was too small and it would be uncomfortable if Ava had to share the back seat with me in their bags. For our high school graduation, my parents got my sister a car and a personal driver while I got heels as a gift. I felt cheated so deeply. Her friends were around, celebrating with her while she cried in my parents' embrace. On the other hand, I stood a little distance away, watching them with the box of heels in my hands, my heart sinking deep into my chest. For the presentation of certificates, my parents cheered the most when my sister was given the award as the overall best in our class. I wasn't called out, as I wasn't among the top three. Can you see how good she is? It's such a shame that you're so dumb. Do you not even take a little out of your twin? You're not only ugly, but also dumb. There, that's my daughter. I wish you both weren't born as twins. Wow, Ava is so beautiful. That's my child. Congratulations, baby. 
I watched with a heavy heart as they loudly congratulated her. When it was time to take pictures, they took a lot with Ava, but took only one with me. After the one picture with me, Ava requested for more. My mom brushed me off and they went to continue with Ava. I stood alone, my heart aching as I watched everyone smiling and being happy with their families. After the event was over, I saw my parents leaving the hall with Ava, all smiles. I knew they were going back home and had forgotten about my existence. It was sad and embarrassing, but I quickly ran after them to remind them that I was still alive. But when I reminded them of my existence, they told me to take a public transport back home. When we got home, I told them about my future plans. Business, never. We're not going to waste our money sending you to business school with that empty head of yours. Are you jealous of your sister? Are you trying to study business just because she wants to? I can't believe you, you're so evil-hearted. They were asking what we would like to study in college. Ava had responded that she wanted to attend a business school and my parents instantly agreed without questions. However, when I revealed that I wanted the same, they refused. Sincerely, I'd always wanted to go to a business school after college. I had no idea that Ava also had that in mind. It's embarrassing to witness this behavior. You, business school, you're dumb, Mia. You won't survive even a month in business school. Ugh, you're so foolishly ambitious. Like your sister said, you're foolish. I have no money to waste on sending you to a business school. You should either study something that's in your level or give up on furthering your education. I couldn't believe my ears. My own family were discouraging me from doing what I wanted simply because their daughter wanted to do the same. I was determined to go to business school and not settle for less. You don't have to pay fully, father. I'll get a part-time job. You can cover half of the fees and I'll cover the other half. Are you insane? How dare you? We're not in the same league, stupid. Why are you trying so hard to be like me, huh? That's far from what I'm doing, Ava. I simply want to go to business school. Is that too much? I was interrupted by a heavy slap on my left cheek. My twin sister slapped me. I held my cheek in shock, staring at her. I hate you so much. You should never have been born. You don't deserve to be here with us. You're so evil. Are you happy after making your sister sad and stressed? Are you happy now? You're a bad child, Mia. How could you do this to your twin? Can you see how angry and stressed she is? They both took her in to comfort her. I was hurt, but I refused to give up. I fought hard until they finally allowed me to go to a business school, but not the same one as my sister. I also got a part-time job. My dad paid only half as agreed, and I paid the rest myself. Life continued that way, with my sister getting all the love while I was pushed aside. In our second year, my sister suddenly brought up a business idea to me. I was surprised, as I knew she hated me. I thought about it. We're twins and shouldn't hate each other. This business idea is going to do well. If you can get mom and dad to invest in it and it does well, they'll be impressed with you. I'm doing this only for our family. I was touched and foolishly accepted it. Although to me, I knew it wasn't a nice idea, but the insecurity my parents planted in me made me think it would go well because my sister brought it up. It took a while to convince my parents to spare their money, but they finally did. However, Ava came with another suggestion. Give the money to me. I'll invest it myself and give you the whole credit. You know I'm better than you, right? So trust me. And I did, stupidly. Ava squandered the money and I realized my foolishness. She went ahead to lie to my parents that I'd given the money to my boyfriend who needed money urgently. Of course they believed her. I didn't do it, I promise. Let me explain, please. You've always been bad luck and irresponsible. I disown you. Leave our house and never return, wayward idiot. I begged tirelessly, but they refused to listen to my explanation. I was pushed out of the house by my twin and my parents threw my things out. It was a tough period for me, but I managed to survive. I slept on the streets for two months before I was able to get a small apartment. I also got two more part-time jobs which helped me through my second and third year. Luckily for me, in my last year, I sold a business idea to a company and it fetched me thousands of dollars. I was able to get a bigger apartment. I sold more ideas while I had mine waiting for implantation. By the time I was done with business school, 
I had enough money to start something. My business idea failed the first time, but I didn't give up. I tried the same idea the second time, and I succeeded. Five years after graduating from business school, I had a successful music label, a film production company, and was well known as a trustworthy real estate agent. I also had houses around the country and outside which served for Airbnb purposes only. I was earning a lot. One day, surprisingly, my parents showed up at my house. I was surprised to see them, as I hadn't laid eyes on them in nearly a decade. What do you want? As they broke into tears, I knew something bad had happened. I took them in, offered them food and water, as they looked hungry. Afterward, they began explaining things to me. Apparently, after school, my sister had told them she had a great business idea. However, it needed a whole lot of money. Since they believed in her so much, they took out huge sums of loans to help her with it. Things, however, didn't go well. Ava did start the company, but she was reckless. She lavished every money she made until the business which she was still growing began to crumble. Investors wanted to take back their investments, but there was nothing available. Ava had spent it all. The banks my parents had taken loans from were also on their necks. The investors didn't take things lightly. They all sued Ava for fraud. Since she couldn't return even a dime, the court sentenced her to four years imprisonment. My parents had to sell their house and cars to pay half of the loans. They were going to sell Ava's company's building, but they discovered that it was acquired on rent, not bought as she told them. They needed my help to repay the loan and give them accommodation as they were on the streets. I burst into laughter. Your lovely Ava made you disown and kick me out of your lives at such young age. She gave me the business idea and also took the money from me, but you never let me explain because you loved her more. Now, the, if she hadn't done this, I'm sure you both would have never come to find me. I have no help to render to you two. Leave my house. They immediately went on their knees, begging me to not turn my back on them, but I already did that the day they kicked me out. I had my security guards chase them out of my house with dogs and whips. I would embarrass them even more if they ever try to show their evil faces to me again. They can go to hell for all I care. But guess what? My parents started calling me non-stop and would show up at my house and even at my office, harassing my workers. One day when my secretary refused them access to see me, they started attacking her and punch her on the face. I had no choice but to call the cops and placed a restraining order on them and the secretary pressed charges. They were locked up for a few weeks to be taught a lesson. Ever since, I haven't heard from them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.